All the recent changes in weather and temperature across Northern California impacting our food supply. John Ramos traveled to Monterey County to show us how it's affecting farmers. The melancholy music at Walnut Creek's Farmers Market this morning may reflect the mood of a lot of small farmers these days. At the JSM Organics booth, most customers had no idea what strawberry growers are going through. We don't always appreciate their, their hard work, but it's, 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 I think we need to be more conscious of where our food is coming from. In this case, the food is coming from here in Watsonville in Monterey County. This nine-acre strawberry field may be owned by Javier Zamora, but he says, really, it's Mother Nature who's in charge. We've been experiencing uh, different issues with weather related that are not normal for us. This area is prime strawberry country with normal high temperatures in the mid 60s and calm cool nights to protect the fragile berries. But in the last 10 days, the temperature skyrocketed to 90 degrees and then two days later dropped below 40. And that was followed by three days of rain. Any one of those things is bad for strawberries, but put together, it was a disaster. We were fully loaded of strawberries and mother nature uh, threw us a curveball and uh, they were all went bad. We lost 95% of them, probably even really close to 100%. The plants have recovered and are putting out new fruit, but the economic damage is done. Small growers like Zamora rely on the weeks leading up to Mother's Day, so having to send what's left off to the jam factory means he may end up with little to show for his entire year's work. People that sometimes are kind of like in denial of whether the weather patterns are changing, we farmers experience it. We don't, we are not just talking about it, we feel it. Alzamora says weather changes are not the only obstacles farmers are facing. Water shortages, high transportation costs, and burnout are posing a threat to food production in the U.S.